Yo, what's good? It's your boy Lost of Power. Welcome to another Remnant 2 build video. I got one question for you guys. Did y'all miss me? I'm not gonna lie, I did miss you guys too. And I do miss Remnant 2 as well. But you guys gotta remember, I'm close to 1200 hours in this game now, man. And you guys know I love making builds for other games. I've been playing Grand Blue, I've been playing Hell Divers. But Remnant 2 was the game where most of you guys found me at. So whenever Remnant 2 drops some new content, I'm going to be there. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the build. First starting with the traits, as always, we got ammo reserves because we're running Gunslinger. Next we got long shot because we're running Hunter. And then for the next trait, we got regrowth at level 10. We got expertise at level 10. We got spirit at level 10. Endurance at level 2. Vigor at level 10. We got swiftness at level 10 as well. Um, next we got bark skin at level 10 then we got handling at level 10 next we got footwork at level 8 and then we got siphoner at level 10 and real quickly look at all these extra empty slots for the DLC tra DLC traits like that's going to be absolutely insane I wonder what else they could add to the traits to make our builds OP but for the skills we got hunters focus this you know they actually buff hunters focus just a little bit is by 0.5 seconds to be honest hunter focus does feel a little bit better now when you aim it feels almost instant you just get that little 0.5 second delay and then you'll get the extra damage what you're getting is 25 percent uh range damage and you're getting 25 percent range weak spot damage keep that in mind next for our prime perk we're running dead to right so you can keep your hunter skills up and next we got bullet storm this is going to give you 20 percent rate of fire and 50 percent reload speed and it lasts 20 seconds we're trying to get as much rate of fire on this build as possible as well all right next we're going to knock out the armor we got the crown of the red prince next we got the little mark one armor then we got the high noon souls we got the little mark two gloves then we got the shielded heart on you screen a shield for 100 percent of your max health last 20 seconds and then we got mythic range critical hit chance mythic range critical hit damage and mythic range rate of fire you're trying to get that rate of fire as high as possible next we got the corrupted savior plus 10. so the corrupted savior rate of fire changes based on how many mod stacks you have and it goes up to five at zero stacks your rate of fire will be low and as you gain stacks your rate of fire will basically increase using the mod at any time will reset your stacks basically resetting your rate of fire as well so what i like to do is not use the mod at all so i can stay at max stacks keeping a high rate of fire the mod damage just isn't worth losing the rate of fire even at max stacks but you also got to keep in mind that the mod power also drains if you don't hit a target after two seconds but the drain just isn't that bad at all for our mutator we're running momentum plus 10 this is going to give you up to 30 percent critical hit chance and 30 percent critical hit damage that critical hit chance is the most important thing next we got the dream catcher plus 10 and latency that's my combo then we got the double barrel plus 20 this is my favorite sidearm then we got the Song of Ether, and we got Prophecy plus 10 to help with the mod regeneration. Also, don't forget we got the Handling trait, and you could also use the Tranquility font with this setup. For the next ring, we got the Atonement for Ring. This is going to grant you 10% critical hit chance, and we combine this with the Night Reaver's Grudge to get a total of 30% critical hit chance. Next, we got Xeneas Malice. This is going to give you up to 30% weak spot damage. Then we got the probability core this is going to give you up to 30 percent crit hit damage then we got the burden of destroyer this is going to give you an increase to all damage by 15 percent and whenever you're trying to do strictly weak spot damage i suggest swapping this out with the ring of flawed beauty that's going to grant you 25 percent weak spot damage lastly we got the night reaver's grudge this is going to grant you 20 percent critical hit chance and haste which helps with the savior's uh reload speed because you know the reload speed is kind of slow and don't forget we combine this with the atonement fold ring to get a total of 30 percent critical hit chance but that's the whole build don't forget to like comment subscribe i appreciate everyone that came through and checked out my build i'm grateful man deuces